I'm a coach, so I love goals and habits, good ones, and breaking bad ones, and steps along the way, and watching people achieve things. But it's actually what's happening inside a person that is, I think, the most important thing because it's directly related to their relationships. I'm Stacy Rockline, and I'm on a mission to eradicate loneliness. And I think that habits are tied to how we feel connected or disconnected from people. So a goal would be, I wanna do this, and so I'm gonna take all of these steps along the way and then eventually achieve it, right? And then a habit is, I'm going to take all these steps along the way and continue to take them no matter what. So if you wanted to run a marathon, you might train, 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 and then you run it and you might never run again, that's okay. You achieved a goal you set out. And if you wanna become a runner, then you're gonna run every day no matter what, marathons or not. That's kind of like your identity. James Clear talks about this in his book, Atomic Habits. You have to tie a habit to your identity. So the person who's out there running or training or whatever, every day that they got up and they did what they said they were gonna do is doing something inside. And that's more important than the marathon that you're gonna be able to slap the 26.2 sticker on your car about or being a runner. How you feel is actually really critical. And the person who does that every single day keeps their promise to themselves every single day. They have confidence, they trust themselves, they have high self-esteem, good self-worth. And when you have those things, then you tend to show up in your relationships. You engage with people because you feel good. So what's the opposite of that? Because that's where this can really create loneliness is the person who says, hey, I want this thing over here. And this is normal. We are humans and humans are just kind of discontented in general. We are always seeing, oh, I think I'd be happier if I did this, achieved this, was this, whatever. That's our nature. And so they see this and they're like, ah, I want that. And then they go, okay, this, this is how I'm going to do it. So they intend to take a step and maybe they do. And then they do again and then they skip a day and then they do it again and then they skip a day or then they skip a week and then they stop doing it. And what happens isn't that they didn't run or save money or whatever. It's that they didn't keep a promise to themselves. And as humans, we are also just self-evaluators. I mean, there might be some people out there who don't self-evaluate, but for the vast majority of us, we are always asking ourselves, am I meeting my own expectations of myself or not? And the person who goes out and does it every day, every day what they said they were going to do, they're like, yep, I'm nailing it. I feel good. The person who doesn't evaluates themselves as lazy, a loser, um, they start to berate themselves, to scold themselves. Self-loathing can start to, to come up. Maybe they go into a shame spiral. And when that happens, we have a tendency to withdraw. We hold back in our relationships because we are evaluating ourselves negatively. So we feel we don't have anything to offer. We don't want anyone else to know what a loser we are. And so this creates loneliness. We stop engaging, we stop showing up, and it's all because we were breaking our own promises to ourselves. So what is really important isn't necessarily the goal or the habit. At the end of your life, you're great. Are you really gonna be sitting there thinking about how wonderful it was that you ran a marathon or that you were a runner your whole life? Or are you gonna be wondering, how connected do I feel in this moment? How connected did I feel over my life? That's what's going to matter, and that is tied to how you feel about yourself. And then you can use habits and goals as opportunities to just make a promise to yourself and keep it, and make a promise and keep it. And over time, that is what's going to make you feel good, and that's what's going to help you show up, want to engage. So as you set your goals or your intentions, and you might even have the same one that you had for years. 
all the time. I talk to people who maybe they have wanted to lose weight, save money, change jobs for five, 10, 20 years now and haven't done it. And what's happening is it's getting worse and worse and worse and worse internally as they don't meet that expectation of themselves, as they make promises that they continually break and they get lonelier and lonelier. So how can you right now, instead of thinking about that thing you have to go achieve or whatever, think in terms of just promise keeping? And how can I make a small baby, baby, baby step, make a baby promise to yourself and keep it today, tomorrow, for a week, for a month and watch as that little thing not only creates a habit or helps you toward a goal that you want, but it will help you feel better and better and better. And that will help you get more and more engaged. And if you want to do it in community, we're actually doing something something in our Seen and Heard membership right now. We are doing a 100-day challenge where we are setting habits, 10 different habits, five for morning, five for evening, tiny ones, tiny ones, two-minute habits. But it's not even about the habits. What it's about is keeping our promises to ourselves, keeping our promise to take care of ourselves, to treat ourselves as we are valuable, and to remind ourselves how important we are. So if you want to join us in community, that would be awesome. Uh, You can join us at the link and we'd love to have you. We're welcoming new members right now. And this is sort of a beta test because this will be a journal that will hopefully roll out in 2025 for a bigger audience. So we'd love to have you join us. But in the meantime, make a small promise to yourself and keep it over and over and over and watch as that is connected to how connected you feel. Okay, happy relationships, and I'll see you next time.